everyone, it's Horse Lover Salt here, and everything has been crazy lately. The summer has been a lot more, we've had a lot more things to do than I thought we would. So I pretty much just have some updates on things I've been doing and projects with my model horses and just a lot of things going on. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, so, of course, if you want to see all of the models that I have, then go check out my, um, tour, uh, well, my, whatever it's called, <laughs> my collection tour, or whatever. I'm sorry, I can't think right now. I just did a video for my rabbitry, and I was, like, stumbling for words. Um, so this is him, forget his name, really. His name. I've had him forever though. But, um, I've made this halter. It's a pretty nice halter, I think. Um, and then, of course, I have these two different styles of lead ropes that I made. Um, and then I have this bridle that I made. Um, tell me, guys, tell me, please, guys, if you think any of this tack looks realistic at all. Um, because I would really like to know, um, because I've been working on this for a while, and I've just, you know, been trying to, like, figure out what's good or not, and, like, experimenting and stuff, but, um, this is one of the big projects I've been doing that took forever, and it is, this way did not turn out very well, but I made it to fit her. Um, my Sherman Morgan, or him, whatever it is, but, um, it has, like, the, um, head part of the harness, but it broke, um, but there's this harness part, and it, like, clips on, and you slide through, and everything, and then the reins go through here, and then the people who sit here can hold on to the reins or whatever, but I just wanted to try doing something like that, because I'd never done anything like that before. So, you know, I mean, it's probably not the best thing I'll ever make, but, you know, it was worth a try. Um, and then I made this, just a hot locker. Terrible design. It spins, though. Yay! Whoops, no, things are gonna suck. But it works. And then, this big project that I'm really glad I did, and I love it. It took me a lot of time, and it took me money for the supplies, you know. And here it is. It is a two-star stable made out of those jumbo popsicle sticks and a one of those um, Greek yogurt uh, boxes. Yes, Greek yogurt box. I used it <laughs> to make a stable. And then I have these hooks for the lead ropes. I just did that so this wouldn't be dangling on the floor. But my dog wouldn't be interested in tearing it all apart. And then this for... Um, I don't know, halter, um, bridle, things, whatever. Um, and then this hooks like this. I like it because, and it has a bit in it. Oh, it's really dark in there. Um, let me get a light to go in there real quick. Let me set you down to look at it. He's gonna fall, but oh well. <laughs> and I'll grab a horse to put in there. There we go. Wider there, and the roof, and the roof actually um, lifts up from the back. Look at this. It lifts. Mm. You can see in there. It lifts up. Didn't use hinges or anything like that. Just with hot glue and popsicle sticks. 
see, and then back there, there's like windows again. So yeah, I love this thing. Probably not the best that anyone has ever made, but I really love it. Um, so yeah. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. You guys have just seen these before, so. And I have these two. That one fits traditional and classic. That one only fits classic. But, I got all this art supplies and everything. I've been reorganizing my room. And my dog wants to go out. So, you can go. And then she's going to want to come back in here and scratch at the door. So, my closet. Reorganized a lot of things. This has got my painting stuff. I got finally got some soft pastels to do shading and everything with. Um, it's just like painting stuff and just some random art things. Got some more art stuff down there. It's everywhere, cardboard, brushes, a pair of scissors, matte finish, you know, just some stuff to do my stuff with. But yeah. That is pretty much it. So I will see you guys later. Bye.